am Sandy. I'm from Colorado, and today I can do anything. I got it on! Woohoo! Yep, I got it on. Can you believe that? I got that before I started The Biggest Loser, and I was well into 300. There was no way I could get that on. And one of my goals was to get to the point where I can put it on. So when Jen and Lisa said, put it on, I was a little leery, but I managed to get it on. My husband said to wear it for the rest of the day. Now, I'd be doing one of these pull it down things. It wouldn't, wouldn't work. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm just excited about being able to have the thing on in the first place. If you are having a lot of problems with your weight loss journeys in the sense of you're sticking with the diet, you're sticking with the exercise, you're doing, you're, you're keeping your water thing going, but for some reason it's just not going anywhere, you might try to find a doctor like I did. And I'm not talking about, let's just go to the regular doctor, because their answer every time will be, go have surgery, okay? And a lot of these weight loss clinics, same thing, go have surgery. I'm talking about someone that will work with you holistically. You know, look at your, you know, your psychological makeup, look at your um, emotional stuff, all that kind of thing, and, and, and look at your medical records as well. Um, if you watch my videos from uh, my visits with my doctors, uh, I didn't, pretty much I didn't edit anything in that. I, the only thing I took out was, you know, us sitting there staring at each other while he's trying to figure out my paperwork or I'm trying to um, give him, you know, like my address and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't want that out there. So that kind of stuff I didn't put out there, but basically my whole visit with my doctor is open for the public to see because I we cover such interesting subjects. I think it's important to see. Granted, I've learned that some of the foods I was eating was not going to help me lose weight. Um, if you have a problem with your insulin, it's going to affect if you have pasta or breads or anything with gluten in it um, so that's a biggie uh, you have to be careful of course any products that have sugar and whatnot salt will make you swell up like nobody's business and um, matter of fact he even tried to put me on some cottage cheese and I started gaining weight from cottage cheese so we had to go back to what worked which was no cottage cheese um, we discovered at one point that I had, I was gaining, I gained six pounds a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, from the fact that I had stopped taking some medication that the doctor had given me because my blood pressure was good. You know, there was no reason to be taking it, so why take it? So I stopped it. Come to find out it makes you a walking sponge. Not good. And so I had to go back to the doctor, and uh, again, they changed my blood pressure medication. And this time, um, after I started taking it, I lost nine pounds, like, within the week. <laughs> you know, so you guys may have saw three pounds or something like that, but I had lost a total of nine pounds from the time I started losing weight back down to where I left off. And... It felt so much better. I just felt like I had done something so bad. And I was... The reason why I was so upset in that one video that you all saw was I felt like I had disappointed all of you. That I had let you all down. And I felt like I let the, the biggest loser here down because I had gained so much weight and I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Which is usually my case. I... Um, you know, I don't understand why I gain weight. My doctor has shown me that a person can be sensitive to certain foods. And after you've been, especially if you've been on a diet like 
we all have. You know, we're going on all these strict diets and say, hey, let's go have a cheat day. And they go have a slice of pizza or something. When they haven't had bread all week, well, that's going to have a more of a negative reaction to your to your body. And so I've learned if I'm going to have my cheat day, I try to keep it within the guidelines of what I'm allowed. You know, these foods I am allowed to have. How can I have them and feel like I'm being naughty? For example, okay, I can have four ounces of protein and two cups of veggies. So, and certain veggies. So, my husband last week took me to a Chinese place where you can pick and choose what it is that you want to eat and then they'll cook it up the way you want. You know, you can even pick out the sauces and spices and whatever you want on them. You pick it all out, you give it to them in a the bowl, they cook it up, there's your dinner. And, uh, it was great. I felt like I was cheating, but I wasn't really cheating. And even this week, I got, you can't see it over here, well, right here, it's almost gone. This is my cheat this week, is a salad from Wendy's. It, this one is the Baja salad, and the, uh, the avocado I can have, but within reasons, so I couldn't eat all of the... Uh, guacamole. I had like half the guacamole and it came with uh, chips and a dressing. I was not allowed to have that. So, And it comes with a chili. I tend to, to eat that but I'm in small portions. The little cup that they gave me, I'll probably split that between like two or maybe three meals. So it's just little bits. Um, so that way I feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not really cheating. Uh, chili's not really that bad. It's just you have meat and you have your veggies. It's not really that bad. So you see, um, what I'm getting at is don't fuss over what you can't have. That's the biggest thing about dieting and, and trying to change your life. And I was like, oh, I can't have the soda. I can't have the french fries. I can't have the pizza. Why fuss over what you can't have? Why not rejoice of what you can have? Okay? I know I can have four ounces of protein. Cooked pretty much any way I want to. Um, just got to find the right recipe that works for it. Same thing for the veggies. Right now I can't have fruit. That's okay. And I can have, though, I, I do have a food bar that I'm supposed to have. And they're yummy. I got like chocolate, chocolate raspberry, um, apple cinnamon, chocolate banana. They're they're all yummy. And one of my favorite things to do before I go to bed is to have something sweet. So I save my food bar for before I go to bed. That's my bedtime snack. I have it with a cup of tea and I'm perfectly happy. I can have all the tea I want. So, instead of fussing over what you can't have, rejoice over what you can have and work with that. Find out what you can have and see how creative you can be with it. Good luck.